Hey guys, I've been asked by CBCS to review their new cases, compare them against their old cases. I have some ideas of my own. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I want to say thank you to CBCS. Uh, I know what I'm doing, so you guys can trust me. Let's check out these new cases. Super excited. So we're going to go ahead and start with the old case. Uh, on the left is the old case. Okay, on the right is the new case. I've got some interesting light here. I'll adjust it here and there. But with the books inside, they're the same books, okay? The old case weighs under a pound. I mean, we're really going to get detailed here. The old case weighs under a pound. The new case is at about a pound and an ounce. So you can't really feel the difference in your hand. But I'm just letting you know, and you know, for debate-wise, Maybe the, the plastic or the weight of the new plastic, because I think it's new, is heavier, okay? That's the first thing. Similarities uh, from the old stuff and the new, and even CGC. So this is very interesting. The old case of CBCS has that, like, taped top, you know, you know piece. Amazing Fantasy 15 for similar edition which it's almost like it's glued on in there. It is underneath the plastic on the old case. Um, I remember CGCs, they were on top, they would come off a lot. Anyway, this is the way it looks on the old, okay? The new is all the way across. It's extremely clean, bold, coloring, very easy to read. It goes from the one side all the way to the other side compared to the old with that old sticker. Uh, what's interesting enough is CGC did the same thing. CGC's old labels were like that, and then their new labels are like that. There's a lot of similarities, okay? Now, the front of the label itself. We'll get to the case. I understand that's important, but there's a lot of different changes here. As much as you think those look the same, the labels, they're not. This is much bolder than this. It definitely pops out more. Also, they have brought the label on the new one up all the way to the top. Where here, it's there's spacing in between the plastic here. There's this plastic awkward uh, seal or whatever. So, by bringing the label up, okay, on the new one, and of course it's much bolder, it is created more space here and then here which in essence makes the book pop out more of the case for a visual appeal okay also you can see that the blue is a different blue it's it's much more appealing another thing about this is on the old label, the seal, the seal inside would go up on top of the label, okay? Which I think is interesting here. The seal stops. And I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure this and this are separate. Whereas this and this were all one piece, I believe. I think there's separation here. Okay, one of the more obvious things to the new design is you can see that this is more rounded. It's rounded all the way around. Uh, yes, it's rounded here and it's rounded here, but it's, it's definitely, you can see the difference in the corners. Also, in the old labels or the old, excuse me, cases, there's like these type of clip things. You see it? The square clip, square clip. This new one is completely clean and flawless of that. That is gone. And this continues all the way around the book. On the old slab here, you have the same clip type things. Whereas they've disappeared here. Uh, 
there's something new here, but it's so clean you cannot see it. Now, taking a look at the sides, this is the old and the new. See how the side, it's, you can't see anything. It's very foggy, okay? And the new one is super clean and, and bright, uh, transparent, I guess, as a way this it's just, it's a very clean plastic. Uh, it's, it's really, actually, it's go quite gorgeous. Now, another thing I noticed on the seals itself, as you can see, the seal, internal seals cr cross each other here. They cross each other all the way on the new one. In the old one, they crossed the, themselves as well, but there was always one part that didn't cross, you see? It doesn't, it doesn't cross over the seal. Uh, whether that means something, or not, I kind of think it does. I really truly thinks it seals the book in there better for movement, you know? It's not gonna move. Okay, next up is the quality of the plastic. Whatever they're using. Now, I was told these are sonically sealed. Um, I'm not sure what that means, but whatever. Um, but I think you can really tell a difference in the clarity of that book and this book. It just seems to me like it's almost like there's nothing covering the book. Whereas on the other, you can see, I know there's some more light, it, 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 somehow the color is dulled. But from here, it's very, it's just super clean. Now I think that they achieve that multiple ways. Again, by raising the label up to the top instead of having a gap which gives you more space here and without the bogged down plastic on the bottom here with these seals and everything that they're doing it's clean here too which gives it more space which makes it seem to me to pop much more, a lot better another thing that I noticed was that the new case is shorter. It's shorter than the other case. But you see how clean the plastic is compared to the old cases on the left, new cases on the right. It's definitely a different type of plastic. Or it's just something completely di different. But it's definitely shorter. Okay, so here's the case from the back. Not much a difference, but you can see on the new case how the label goes all the way up and gives that extra space of plastic to actually make the book pop out more. Whereas the new one is lower and there's all that space. Most likely, they're probably the same size label They're very closely the same size, but they have eliminated this whole space and chunk clunky look here with the clips and the kind of, I hate to say it, sorry, CBS, CBS the, the crappy old label. They, re, they, change, they removed that and they made it much cleaner. Okay, now for the interesting extra stuff. We've just compared the other cases, okay? Now I'm gonna compare with something else. This is the old CBCS case versus the old CGC case. Very, very similar, especially on the top. The, the, the label of the old CBCS, top label, and old CGC difference is this one CGC was on top of the plastic which would always come off and CBCS's was underneath the plastic okay so very similar 
okay uh these are the old cgc versus cbcs now here is the new cbcs case versus the old cgc case okay you can see the difference okay but we don't really want to compare the old cgc case with the new cbcs case we want to compare the new cbcs case with the new cgc case now don't get all crazy because i have a you know hulk 181 here okay but i think this is very interesting this is the new cbcs case and this is the new cgc case they're pretty similar i have to say though by looking at it through the camera like this i actually like the way that looks it seemed the cbcs case looks cleaner it just i know there's a little bit of weird lighting in here maybe change off this light now that doesn't really help it's a cleaner look with the cbcs case but there are some very interesting similarities uh, one thing about the cg new cgc case is it's heavier than the new cbcs case okay the other interesting thing is cgc changed their label on the top to go all the way across so and cbs has this now now as well okay these cases are very similar but there are a couple differences and i'm going to show you the mo the main ones first of all cgc implemented this like it, it indents in right here the label is separate now inside i'm pretty sure this label is separate as well now okay so they're not connected um but the CG case is a little bit wider, and I got to tell you, it's not as clear as the CBCS case. The CBCS case is almost completely clean of any flaws. You can see here on the internal seal on the CGC case, there's some white. Don't look at the color of the book. Look at the white trail in there. Okay. But otherwise, it's pretty close. The plastic, I believe, although maybe not as heavy, is clearer. So what CBCS has managed to do is make the book pop much harder out of the case. Almost to the point like it's not in a case almost to the point like it's not in the case this is the you can see the separation here because they've made these indentions now for that there this is smooth and clean okay another very interesting thing that i found is the c the new cgc case and the new cbcs case are the same height <sighs> so I just think it's interesting that they're kind of following suit like CBCS is kind of following the trend in my personal opinion which I don't think is a bad bad thing about CGC one of the biggest bonuses okay guys of getting CBCS all right is this the Newton ring the thing that looks like water in every other case that's made the Newton ring the deadly Newton ring that everyone hates oh it looks like water underneath my case one thing that CBCS has managed to do CBCS does not ever get Newton rings and now they said with these new cases and the clarity of the books and everything about it 
they are a big competitor. A lot of people had problems with their cases, okay? They fixed it. So, I, I gotta be honest, I really, really like the new CBCS case. So, now we have the new case and the old case. Um, but overall, I think there's a quite a big of a difference. There's definitely a visual difference. You gotta really look at it, though. Um, but this comic just pops out of there. The lighting is a little bit screwy. But you, I mean, it looks like it's on top of the case right there. It looks like it's on top of the case. Like it's not even in it. They've tightened it up. They've got all the loose ends taken care of. They've rounded it better. It looks smoother. All these little clip things, they're gone. The top seal is all the way nice and clean. This is the old label. Overall, I think they did a great job. Some questions asked about the new case, okay? So first of all, one of the number one question is, when is the new case going to be available? I was told that because of COVID, they're having printing issues. I talked to Steve Barack today on the phone, okay? So they're having printing issues with the label because of COVID, and they expect all new stuff, all new cases and labels and et cetera, to be going out July 1st. Starting on July 1st will be the change. That's only about a week away. So if you're considering on sending in stuff like that, consider that as well. Um, next up, the... I wanted to say this. This is what's so great about another thing that was new and old with this is this code right here. You can put your camera up to the code on your phone and it will bring up all the graders notes for any book for free. The other day I was in a live chat and we wanted to figure out why a book was graded the way it was through CGC. And I went to the website and you had to spend $10 to find out the graders notes per book. So, dude, this is a free option. Now, in regard to the census, another big question that I have an answer to. Uh, the census is up now. And the question was, what about old books? Um, so, they have, Steve told me, that a lot of the old books are there, but they have a thing on their site where you can take your book and you can go to the population report on CBCS and enter in the number and grade and all that, and you can help them fill out that census themselves. So there will be some super old books, some older books that won't be on there. If you have them, you go check it out. If it's not there, you can enter that information and they will enter it into the census, okay? Which is another great thing, which was a big issue. Um, another thing is on, my, on the video I made, I had stated that I thought that this was not connected to this. And in the old labels, it was all one piece. And I was right. So this label is detached. It's in a separate area now. And if anyone tries to remove it, it will get torn. So you don't have to worry about people cracking and, and switching labels because, or whatever, the whole thing. The label will get torn and they'll have to redo it. Another thing about the seals that I was talking about is down here are these two little, like, screwdrivers things that's so you can open the case if you absolutely have to but it's also creating a like breathing attitude within the chamber so you're not getting those um watermarks and it's good i also asked if they're using a new plastic he said no because it, it truly looks like the book is on top of the case it, it's just, it's presents so well he said no uh it's the same but the type of plastic they're using is archival safe. So it's, your book is super protected, okay? Um, another big question that he said they're most likely gonna do, he didn't give me the A-OK -okay yet, but yellow versus red labels. You know how when we sent in and it wasn't witnessed and it comes back with a red label? Well, they're gonna change that now, I believe. It's all gonna be yellow labels. 
from now uh, and coming soon. It'll all be yellow labels, but it will say verified or witnessed. Either way, it's yellow. So if you get it witnessed, it'll say witnessed. If you get it verified, which means they didn't see it and you send it in, they verified, it'll say verified. So it could be yellow label. Say you have one that's witnessed, it'll say witnessed. And then you have one that's not witnessed, it'll say verified. So it'll, it can possibly say witnessed and verified on there for multiple signatures, which is a great option because sometimes you can't have them witness it. So that's really exciting. Um, so we got through the release date of when the new cases will be out. We got through the color change label. We got to the answer of, oh, another thing is the old label on the bottom is perforated. Like it was torn out of something. These are nice and clean. That's another little thing um, that I missed, but I realized later. Um, so we got through the, the release date of the new cases. We talked about them going from red to yellow, verified witness, all yellow. We talked about the internal and the air breathing and all the other goodies. Um, we talked about the census report, which is up now. And if you have a book that's not on there, you can upload it and that'll improve the census. So they're very good with us in regard to the ability to get questions answered, the ability to upload to the census, the ability to scan any code. I, I should just show you it really live, really fast. Um, this isn't gonna be a long video, but I think it's really cool. And I think you guys should see it. You don't have to pay, it's free. You get free grader notes for everything. So what you would do is you would just put your phone This might be hard to do. Oh, there it is. I put it over and it says it wants me to open up Safari. And it's opening it. And it, 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 there's no image, but it has the number. It says variant facsimile edition pedigree 9.8. There it is. With a 9.8, you don't really need greater notes because there's not really anything wrong with it. But that is a great free option. It's not $10. They're really killing it. And I, you know, a lot of people are saying really fast, oh, the label's boring, the label's the same. But I really, you look at the CGC label again, look at. So here's the deal. And this isn't a, I'm not trying to say picky the one, uh, you know, whatever, I use both. But the CGC has this big old white sticker plopped on here, a square. It's not clean. And then they put their other little sticker on here. It's not, look at it again and compare and go, do I like a more clean look or do I like, I have to have CGC, you know? I truly believe this is a lot cleaner. And the it just, do they stepped it up? So those are all the answers, you guys, that you were asking me and I got you. Your, your questions answered. So I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you watched that first video and check out this great interview I have with Steve Barack at the end of this video. You guys have a great day, okay?